Well, you heard what went on at the uh, West Brom Brighton uh, game there earlier on on game day. Crazy, crazy stuff. And Jason Cundy, former Chelsea and Spurs defender, you have a fantastic idea, do you not? I say fantastic with inverted commas around it for what you believe should happen going forward in football. I do, and it's been met with some um, open arms and some uh, folded arms, actually, uh, across Mine the board. Mine were folded, I think. <laughs> well, well, OK, <laughs> well, well, I was listening to um, um, the, the commentary coming in, or certainly the, uh, the updates coming in, and it was so unclear. For someone who, was lit and who understands football, I couldn't understand why the goal was disallowed. So is it offside? Is it the referee's blown the whistle twice? No one knew. And we, we were waiting for confirmation as to exactly why the, why the goal was disallowed. Listening to Lewis Dunk there, he's asked the referee, can he take it? The referee's blown the whistle. He's taken the free kick. And before the ball hits the back of the net, he blows the whistle again. And I feel for Lee Mason because he's, he's screwed up royally here. He's, he's had a bad day at the office in, in a huge way because the whole point of playing football is to score goals and he's disallowed what I thought should have been given. The fact that he's blown the whistle... Then, by the letter of the law, the goal cannot be given because he's blown the whistle before the ball hits mm -hmm. the back of the net. So he has mucked up here. He has cost Brighton a goal. He hasn't cost them the defeat because they had two penalties. We'll talk about that in a second. But I don't understand why a free kick, when it's given, we have to wait for a second whistle for the free kick to be taken. I don't understand why that has to happen. If you have been wronged, you've got a free kick anywhere on the pitch, why can't you take that free kick as soon as you want. You are, the, you are in control of that ball. You have an opportunity to take a quick free kick. Why do you have to wait for a wall? Why do you have to wait for the referee to be set? Why do you have to wait for the goalkeeper to be set? Why do you have to wait for the opposition to get men behind the ball and organise themselves defensively when you are the one that actually has been wronged? You should be able to take that free kick as quickly as you want. Now, there's all sorts of ramifications that we have discussed in the office, which was brilliant. The <laughs> debate proper, was amazing. We had a proper ding-dong, didn't we? It was, and, and for both sides, and there are valid arguments on both sides, and that's, you know, that, that, that's what happens when you come up with something. But I, I tell you what, Faye, I do not understand why we cannot move forward with football taking away the referee's responsibility to make sure everyone... On, why have we got to make sure everyone's ready? As long as the referee is blown up and given a free kick... That team that has that ball in their possession should be able to take that free kick as soon as they want. What responsibility are you going to leave the referee with? Because at the minute they're getting every single piece of responsibility they have taken away from them and that then takes something else away from them, doesn't it? But he's given the free kick. I get That's that. That's it. He doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to then tell someone to take the free kick. Hmm. We want a fast-moving pace game. We want the game to be... I mean, what Lewis Dunk showed there was great initiative and we have been denied a brilliant goal because the referee has blown his whistle once for it to be taken he's asked the referee why are we waiting for the goalkeeper to get in his goal he's on his post lining the wall up why have we got to wait for him why have we got to wait for the wall mm. why have we got to wait for everyone else on the pitch except except the, the bloke who's taking the free kick to be ready everyone on the pitch has got to be ready the one person that needs to be ready is the person taking it and he should be allowed to take it. As soon as that free kick is given, he should be able to take it straight away. Oh, no, sorry, if I know other part of the pitch, do you wait for the whistle? Don't wait for a, a free kick in it when it's been given as offside. You don't wait for a whistle on a corner. But it does happen. Like, we talked about this outside, and the biggest argument was actually it's not particularly sportsmanlike. But hold it there, because I, I want everybody else's point of view on this. 08717 double two double three double four.